Hello people, this is Power here with a review of the Commodore Geo Super Telebicoon Heisei Rider Book Collection, I don't know what you call this. Um, this is just basically the Super Telebicoon issue of technically September? I think so, I don't really think so, but it's it got announced in September, but I think it got released in November. Anyways, this is the Super Telebicoon book that includes the pack magazine or book packing of the Laser Ride Watch shown here. And our next review just fell, so we will go over that later. Let's go through a quick page through. Obviously, as you can see here, prominent on the cover is the O's armor and Gem armor. Then we have all 20 Heisei Riders. And then promotion of the laser ride watch and such. So, um, there we have a review out that's coming soon in Christmas. Um, a Geo ride watch variant I would never get because I don't really care for it it looks pretty and all but it's just like there's only like two new sounds and it doesn't even bother using a new track um geo and gates or sogo and gates proceeding to fight another x aid um gates using the ghost armor and then um sogo going to gates to give him the cross ride watch them then proceeding to go to 2017 to fight another build sent to one solo and then another x aid i didn't care for this arc and then prominent on this splash is another is the Fi's armor and then we get the fours armor the drive armor and the wizard armor and then last but not least, we got um, O's armor, Gates with the build armor, and then um, the Gem armor, which is really pointless. And then we got all the belts of the previous 19 Heisei Riders on page 10. So um, here we have um, a two page splash of build. So, Sento and Riga being prominent here, and then um, Kazumi, Gentoku. Jeez. <laughs> I want to say not to me. It's Utsumi. I like knew his name right away from the unboxing, but from the build, it's. Jeez. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> Um, then we get a two-page splash of x -Aid. Um, obviously, um, M and Kuroto gain the spotlight because they have ride watches while everyone else is just here. And I don't really get why no one else's forms show up and, like, obviously, like, lasers as laser, not laser turbo, while Paradox is as perfect knockout. But... I don't really understand why, like, here they don't show everyone else's forms, but here they do. Like, um, does do they do it for Gem? Yeah, Gem, they show off his forms, but, you know, like, here, like, with Grease, they show Grease Blizzard, Rogue, they show Prime Rogue. Even with, like, Mad Rogue, they show his phases, and with Evil, they show all of his phases, too, so it's like... I don't understand x <laughs> Who did x -Aids? And at this point, they're like, well, we can't give everyone two-page splash, so we're just going to cram them into one page. So there's Ghost, Drive, Gaim, and just to note, too, um, they, obviously, because this is Telvikun, they have their forms in here, too. So, like here... Fresh orange is at that corner, and then wizards, um, hyper wizards' mantles are there. So, like, 
Again, Kumatovi is there. Prime Rogue. And then... Bike Action Gamer Level 0 and Knockout, or Fighter Gamer Level 32 are there too. So, just letting that to be out there. Which is, I think, it's really neat. Fours, Rocket Drill States... O's, the kangaroo, I don't remember what it was called. Um, this one's Date for date. I, I don't remember O's. Double didn't have a high perform or high perform battle, have a hyper battle form, and then Decade. Um, I did not know the Blade Blade had an actual prop. <laughs> oh, the Kuga is not even wrote here. But obviously at this point they didn't sh reveal um, Decades Ride Watch. So they even have um, Doltabaki Emperor form, which is really neat. Um, Dano. Overall, I have to say it's really nice to actually have something like this. There's Kabuto, and for some reason they decide to use the picture of Dark Kabuto's mask form. Like, guys, there's a thing called Photoshop. <laughs> and Kageyama is on here twice. Because I guess he's the main user of Zabi. So. I wish they showed all the users, but... No, well. Blade. I think it would be really nice if you can actually read these. If I could. Fies. No mention of the boombox. Ryuki. Obviously, because they want to save space, all of them are just one picture. So, which is pretty neat. Uh, I did not know they had a question mark for um, Dark Shinji, which is interesting. Agito, I actually just recently finished watching this series. It's a pretty great series. Now I'm just noticing how blurry this image is. <laughs> they list gills before G3. That's pretty interesting. But this is G3, not G3X. Again, it's it's a... Oh my gosh. You list... Paradox, perfect knockout here, and list turbo or list laser here, which I guess is technically accurate, but come on, like put in G3X if you're gonna put Paradox Perfect Knockout. <laughs> and then um Kuga obviously. Um As we covered before, Kuga has his own muck, so yeah. And then here, just the splash on ride watches. So this is technically, this is technically October. So just how they work. This is um, Shokugan set two because the two exclusives were Evo and or Evo and Snipe. And then Gashapon set three is Rogue and Brave. But then I think I might put this up or before or after. Um. The other Gash Pond Red watch sets, so I guess I'm gonna say I did get a rogue from set three. I'm gonna review him within set eight because I don't plan on getting to Brave because I already have Legacy Gamer. And then here's the Christmas Red watch that I will again review in December. And then Laser gets his own page because because his Red watch <laughs> Kyria approved, so. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, they, they show laser turbo, but they 
as we're going to show later, Laser Turbo isn't technically um, a part, or like Laser Turbo was technically its own thing. And the, these are the instructions of the Ride Watch. Um, this is for the Hyper Battle thing. I'm not sure what this is exactly. <laughs> I don't know if it's the magazines or all the Hyper Battle videos. And again, the back page we showed before. So, I should not put that on the ground because I need to take that out again. Here's the box. Here's the box for the Laser Ride Watch. Again, Laser Turbo is here, but he doesn't count technically. Bike Gamer Level 2 and then Level 1, the Laser Ride Watch, Geo Gates, Laser Screw Driver. This one's in blue. Again, the same instructions. Um, just to compare it to the Paradox one, um, they're basically the same thing, just... All of these are basically the same thing. So, anyways, let's get to the Ride Watch itself. So, here it is, and I really like its color. It's really unique, um, because Laser has a yellow base and a pink secondary color. Obviously, um, the button is pressable. You can't turn the face. Here's a sticker that you have to apply. And such the back. Here's the QR code for Butba Gamba. The track is 056. Again, this one is its own entity. As I previously described in a video that I don't know will be out at this time. Because <laughs> I'm recording this on... August 13th. I don't know why that was so difficult. So, pull the tab and press the button. So Laser's jingle is just basically the instrumental of his with the melody of X-8s. And I think hit Laser is one of my favorites that used the x melody. And we get the dreaded critical. So, um, I'm just looking at the box again because I really think the Laser they're trying to depict on the sticker here is the one for level one but because i can see the chibiness and such so again we will talk about this later let's just get the jeep driver LED. So laser twenty sixteen, obviously it's in yellow and laser only runs through twice. Critical time break, critical being carried from critical strike, finish. Yep. Honestly, let's get the destroyer of the worlds. As he's in the dizer. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, for the Laser Ride Watch as a whole. Um, 
I think it's Ruin Neat one, just because of the fact that Laser actually does have his own track. Thank gosh. But then again, it's because he was he's an X Aid writer and X Aid writers and build writers have their ride watches and they have their own screens because they're just like, oh, well, we need to fill in some space. But um, overall, I do think this is a really neat muck. I don't even know what's a muck <laughs> or not, but it's just I really do think it's neat overall, just because of all the stuff it has. Um. Because again, it's basically, sorry for this angle, but basically it's just an overview of the past 20 years, which is really neat. And, um, you know, like, I'm pretty sure they're simplified, but it's just really fun to have. And, you know, just to have like some, just see some highlights of like each series. And again, you get a ride watch out of it, so... Yeah, I got this off of Amazon Japan via buy, so I got it for like 500, 568 yen or so, and I will say that's worth it. So this I got for like $5 because as you can see here, it's initially sold for $20 or so. Um, I'll just say all the other like magazines I got, I did get for those prices, but yeah, it isn't bad. So that's it for this review. Um, so this is Power Rider. And now we'll leave you people.